また俺に家をくれないかもうほとんど片付いたことだし少し休んだらどうだ残った力仕事は俺に任せてお前はテントの中から指揮しててくれ。Immediately, most of the packing is done. Since you have no reason to refuse, you sit on the floor and lean against a pillow as you hold the box. Then I'll relax for a bit. I can look at what's inside this box. In the meantime, don't push yourself if you're tired, okay? Looks position two fingers at the side of his forehead, salutes you, then turns around. The warm yellow light gives him a golden glow as he continues packing. You can't help but think back to that evening a few months ago. Phew, I'm so full. After dinner, you and Luke go for a walk to help digest the food. As you stroll into a residential area, you see several people walking together in groups of two or three. The sky is hazy as the evening breeze blows. The smell of fireworks in the wind signals that the night is about to begin. This is so nice. Hmm? Why did Because the weather is great, and this place is great, and the person with me is great too. Luke seemingly picks up on some key words and turns to look at you. So, ここに住むってのはどうだえぇ ?You can hear a smile in his voice, but the emotion in his keys tells you he's being sincere. もちろん、ここじゃないとダメとは言わない。けど、二人だけの家が欲しいんだ。俺たち二人だけのな。A few kids are laughing and playing around by the street. Some middle school students who just ended school are deciding where to play ball, and a young couple who seemingly came out of the subway station are holding hands. This doesn't seem like the setting for an, er an, for an important conversation like this, but Luke sees it so naturally. It's like he's using these images to show you the lively future that lies beyond his suggestion. 思い返すと今までいろんなところで過ごしてきたよなおじさんたちの家にタイムズショップそれからお前が頑張って買ったメゾネットでもどこも俺たちだけの場所ってわけじゃなかった
He leans down slightly, his eyes warm and radiant like a twilight sky. Mata, ore ni ye o kure nai ka? Look, that is unfair. As the sun sets, you and Luke's shadow grow longer and longer, not to mention closer. Mama, look! The child's parents stop him before he can finish his sentence. The grubs just slightly hot earlobe and concern that his own ears are getting redder. I... 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 <laughs> Even though it's been quite a few months since that evening, you can't help but laugh every time you think about how Luke hastily left like he was trying to escape. It's worth mentioning that you did find a perfect house in the neighborhood that day. The renovations are almost complete, leaving only some finishing and decoration to be done. Today, you and Luke came to your parents' house for some mementos to be used as decoration in your new home. So, did you want to take a look at the house in the house? Ah, let me see. You find several things inside the box as you open it. Judging by the style, it's clear that Luke is the owner. After all, he is the only one who would keep a pair of toy handcuffs in a box like this. It looks like he really treasures them. You take them out and look over at Luke puzzled. Why do you see this in the face? You gave me the money, right? Amused, Luke takes them from you and taps you gently on the head. Did you forget? ハクチョウ刑事に登場してた小道具だよ。子供の頃、あのアニメが大好きで、よくテレビに飾りついてたろ。はあ、that you never told anyone about this, but Luke speaks with certainty, revealing the truth. How did you know? When Luke had just come to your house but then, he was still somewhat reserved. Maybe it was just in his nature or because he was amorous about living in someone else's house. You could see he wanted that toy but said nothing to your parents. After you accidentally discovered this, you secretly bought a pair and gave it to him. But Luke didn't say a word about it afterward, so you always assume he didn't know the truth. But as you look at Luke's calm expression, you realize you were the one who didn't know the truth all along. I found the key to the door to the door. I found it in the door. It's really easy to understand. And that's because you didn't say anything about it. I had no choice but to resort to drastic measures. As you reflect on your thought process when you were little, you placed the toy handcuffs into a moving box for the net new house. Let's see what other treasures we can find. Oh, it's our old photo album! Naturally, you and Luke have several photo albums. This one is particularly unique because Luke took all the pictures in it. Accurately speaking, Luke took all of these pictures when he first became interested in photography. As a result, the photos in the album include everything from assignments written on the blackboard after school one day to you flashing peace signs at the school gate when you two started high school together. You were pretty good at photography back then too. Model was mostly you, right? Look 
you know, every time he says stuff like that with such a sincere expression, it makes me feel... He tried to hold back a smile and continue looking through the photo album. Huh? Why are these two pictures? The two pictures were taken at the same place during what appears to be when you were in high school. It's to the extent that the angles of the picture aren't very different from one another. But considering so many similar aspects, the final results of the two pictures are completely different. The latter picture is inexplicably bright and vivid. All the subsequent pictures were also taken in the same style. Huh, that's weird. If these two pictures weren't so similar, I wouldn't even be able to tell. Am I seeing things? Just as you are about to ask Luke, he comes over as if you two have a tacit connection. He then crouches down and sits in the tent. Your parents' home second floor. Th this tent was purchased when you were little. After all, it's a little hard to accommodate two adults to fit inside. Luke reaches out with his long arms and pulls you in. You can only shift sideways and lie on his chest. You wiggle around a bit, but he doesn't move a muscle. Dosto? No, I'm not uncomfortable. There's just a lot of extra room. Why do we have to squeeze in so close? Sorry, wa. Hakucho Keiji no hanashi o shite, mukashi no koto o omoi dashita kara da. Ano kora wa yoku issho ni tento no naka de asonde tada ro. With him so close to you, you have to break away and create some distance to hear what he sees. But it's unavoidable. The vibrations in his chest as he speaks and the shifts of his breath become provoking at this moment. How long ago was that? Yet, yeah, Luke's thesis allow you to realize this by the intimate close club quarters, and you can't help feeling emotional. We've changed a lot. There's no way both of us could sleep in this tent now. So, ga? Wakaranai zo? Luke smiles as he pushes you from your waist, causing you to immediately lose your balance. The next second, you are lying down on the pillow. Luke bends at the elbows and looks down at you casually from above. Everything happens so fast, you don't have any time to react before he completely overtakes you. <sighs> the tent is enclosed, but Luke terminates most of your vision thanks to the position he's in, even though I can't get in. All boundaries blur in this dim, obscure setting. You look at Luke and a sense of familiarity rises up in your heart. This isn't the first time you've found yourself alone with him in such an ambiguous situation with minimal light. Using your combat skill for this kind of thing? こんなこと? I probably can't find any way to restart since he's subduing me right now. Luke takes your hand and rubs it playfully for a moment. As if it isn't enough, he interlaces his fingers with yours. This close to one another, any movement he makes causes your heart to skip a bit. You feel like you're completely enveloped by his sense. <laughs> He doesn't move any closer, but his voice is low. Hmm? What? He reveals a meaningful smile upon seeing your confused expression. 
<笑>まったく。ずいぶんと都合のいい弁護士様だな。He shakes his head in resignation. His eyes sparkling. あの頃のお前はテントで寝ることに固執しててでも一人で寝るのも怖くて結果的に毎回俺のことを巻き込んでただからこっそりベッドにも戻れずしょっちゅうこの床で寝ることになったんだでも今ならあの頃の願いを叶えてやることができるもちろん今でも怖いって言うならだけどな。The rough calluses on Luke's fingertips follow his teasing tune, gliding over your fingers one by one like rings of sun baked sand on, it, on a beach. You can't ignore the warm, rough sensation. In fact, you are unable to stop yourself from indulging in it. I wasn't scared. I was worried you were scared to be alone at night when you first came to our house, so I just made up an excuse. So that t o n e Why do you look totally unconvinced? That the con tent, oh my god, Jinjo Janakune that the Ojisan t a c h i n i c o t t e m r a t a n d o I I did that because. Hi, <laughs> hi. そこまでしたのも結局は俺のためだったんだろうちゃんとわかってるよ。You thought you'd succeeded in ending this conversation, but you look, this is just another toy handcuff story.You knew, but you still said all that.Look gently grabs the wrist of the hand you are waving around angrily.His expression seems to say, I knew, but I wanted to hear you say it yourself. 慣れない家で一人で寝ることを心配してこのテントを買うよう頼んでくれたんだもんな。お前はそうやって最初の一番苦しい時期に俺に寄り添ってくれた。How do you know everything? さあな。<笑>とにかくお前が隠しきれないほど。優しくしてくれたのは確かだ。Luke's eyes are moist, as if something lustrous is shining within them.Then why didn't you ask me? お前が俺の気持ちを汲んでくれたように。俺もお前の考えに合わせようと思ってさ。He's always been like this, using the best possible way he can come up with to protect you. Somehow, the hand you place on his shoulder somehow loses its strength, and it gently gives way for you to embrace Luke. Kono tento mo motte ikanai ka? Toki doki kou ste yasunda li dekiru shi sa. Is there a good place for it in the new house? Your breathing is too shaky. When you hear Luke speaking so sincerely, you immediately sit up and look at him.、Oh, yeah. It seems like Luke wasn't expecting this move from you. He shakes away slightly and stops your movement with ease. I was just a little bit of a mess, but I was just a little bit of a mess. You initially want to keep fighting back, but you suddenly catch a glimpse of the two pictures you found strange before out of the corner of your eye. The sun is blocking most of the light, and the two pictures are overlapping, making it easier to ignore the influence of the elements other than the subject of the photo. Due to the similarity in the compositions, you find it hard to ignore or explain away the large differences in photography style between the two. どうしたなんか変なとこでもあったか Did you take these two pictures? ああそうだけど。Luke helps you up and picks up the two pictures and looks at them. It seems like he doesn't notice anything weird whatsoever. こっちは高一の時の遠足でこっちは改めてお前と行った時の写真だな。
as the look explains the origin of the two pictures in detail, the dub in your heart grows ever stronger. Since they were taken so soon after one another, there is absolutely no way to look as a beginner photographer completely changed his style in the meantime. Yeah, I'm clearly in both of them, as they were taken at the same place, even my pose didn't change much. But if you look at this one, the style is really different from the other one. Isn't that weird? Luke looks at the two pictures. After remaining silent for a few seconds, he smiled with apparent understanding. Do you know why? He looks at you, his expression making your face burn up for some reason. He answers your question with another question, and it only serves to confuse you even more. Can I be able to tell by looking? This confusing back and forth reveals one detail. This change in style might have something to do with you, but you still have no idea. The phone lying nearby begins vibrating continuously, interrupting the question you are about to ask. Omeko. It's a thunderstorm warning from the stylist government. It says that a harsh thunderstorm is going to hit, making it unsuitable to go outside. If it's some kind of signal, Luke doesn't keep talking. He just looks at you like he's searching for something. I don't think there's a good place for this tent in our new house right now. Let's stay here today. That's <laughs> You set aside all the doubts you have about moving, renovating, or the strange photography styles for now. At this moment, you decide to stay here with him until the storm passes. Bedroom the heavy rain finally stops at midnight, washing away the scorching heat of so many days before. You and Luke wake up early and race over to the new house ready to start decorating with the stuff you brought from your parents' house. But there's still a lot of tidying up to do and the things on the storage shelves are even more cluttered and disorganized. It takes you a while just to sort through the top shelf. I'll put the marbles on the middle shelf. Just as you reach out to put something on the shelf, you hear a muffled sound from the next to your foot as if something was knocked down. A medicine bottle with no label rolls a few times and stops against the shelf. You bend down to pick it up. It's really easy for this to get knocked down if it's just left here. Since Operation Boer went public, Aaron Yushme has been researching the medicine look to and constantly making adjustments to the ratio of ingredients. After a long time and several iterations, the new recently developed medicine is already a vast improvement and is more stable in terms of efficacy. While there is no guarantee this new medicine is free of side effects, Luke's condition has been getting better and better since he started taking it. The pain and suffering, the confessions and persistence you and Luke experienced before seem to have already become distant memories. Compared to when he was purposefully hiding it from me, now he's finally... You remember him covering your eyes on that rainy night, not letting you see his flustered expression. Before he confessed, he wrote a letter explaining the entire story and pleading for your forgiveness. Of course, there was also the time when he hit a ring box, suffering and refusing to face his true feelings. The past is easy, like a sudden gale blowing through your heart and causing your thoughts to ripple once again. But 
Look with his hand in front of your eyes. Your tumultuous thoughts are suddenly reined in. You blink a few times, wanting to laugh. Exactly, what were you thinking about? All of those things are in the past. Now you and Luke are honest with each other. There are no more secrets. Instead of worrying about the undetermined conclusion to your story, you care more about experiencing the unique life that belongs to you and Luke alone. It's nothing. I just feel like there's so much stuff. I don't even know where to start. He looks around, his kids passing over the medicine bottle without a second glance. Luke softly takes your hand in his and you feel a firm strength from his warm palm. Even though you didn't say anything, your thoughts are loud and clear to him. His smiling eyes act as a mirror, faithfully reflecting all of the brand new changes. Yeah, Rome wasn't built in a day. You and Luke open up the moving boxes you brought here and sort through them one by one. I haven't thought about it yet. Let's see if we can pick out some pictures and make a photo wall. Luke raises his brows and points at the table somewhat dramatically in response to you. There are four or five photo albums lying on the table. Other than the one Luke photographed himself, the others are filled with pictures your parents took of you two as you grew up. On one hand, it will be really hard to choose which ones to use. I love all the pictures in there, so I wanted to bring them here and take my time to looking through them. But on the other hand, Following your words, Luke's kiss lingers on the photo album filled with pictures he photographed and he turns around to look at you in resignation. Yes, you said it had something to do with me. Who wouldn't be curious about that? Anyway, I'm going to organize everything while I look for the answer in the meantime. Seeing your can-do attitude, Luke shakes his head helplessly. He then stands up and leans against the table, casually flipping open a photo album. The picture he turns to is himself at a high school opening ceremony. He's wearing his school uniform and his smile is brighter than the sun. Feeling your gaze, he turns to look at you. For a moment, it's like the look who only just started high school years ago is catching a glimpse of you on, in the future. Suddenly, an idea pops into your head. Look, I know what to do with these pictures. Stars. There is a large stretch of wall at the corner of the stairs, before you and Luke could never figure out what to do with it. Yeah, we can use the pictures from when we were little as clues and then arrange them to show how we grew up together over the years. Luke expands on your proposal with just a few simple words and is even more creative than your original idea. Alright, then we should start with the picture from the first day you came into our house. The young Luke in the photo is leaning against your parents' leg, hesitantly looking at the girl's hand reaching out to him. The older Luke takes the picture from the girl's hand. But then he was even hesitant to hold her hands, but now he's about to start a family with her. 
from ignorance to youth, despite the changing seasons and the flow of time, the people in the pictures never change. As you do slowly fill up the entire photo wall, it acts as the timeline of your looks and of your and looks life, documenting every single tree that them washed away. Look, did we take any pictures together before you went to the capital? Why can't I find any? You and Luke obviously took several pictures before that, but for some reason, you can't find any pictures of you two in high school. Just as you give up hope, you open the photo album that Luke photographed and continue on from the page you stopped last night. <laughs> Just as you are about to flip to the next page, Luke races down the ladder, still holding onto the empty frame he hadn't had time to hang up. Hey, this looks like a picture of us together. You only catch a quick glimpse of the two people in school uniforms in the picture before Luke quickly snatches the picture away. This is he scrambles to hide his hands behind his back. This series of actions leaves his cheeks slightly red and his breathing quickens. You know a reaction like that and I think all secretive is only going to make me more curious. You slowly stand up, moving closer to look with every step that you take. Of course, it's hard to steal stuff from an agent, but what about a childhood sweetheart? Oi, oi. Koko wa kaidan da zo? You stand up on your tiptoes to get a better look at a picture, but Luke flips around naturally to hide the pictures with his body. It's false, but his escape route is obvious. You immediately grab the hem of his shirt. You take a step forward, he takes a step back. It's it's like some sort of ridiculous dance. What is it? Give me a look, okay? Just one look. <laughs> he tucks the hand holding the picture behind his back, somewhat embarrassed. It's obviously something special since you're trying so hard to hide it. You tug on his shirt with some force and reach out to look with your other hand. Just as your fingers brush against the picture, your foot slips. As it turns out, you and Luke were both right. <laughs> the world turns upside down in an instant, and Luke's hand on your waist grows tighter and tighter. You and Luke lose your balance and fall down the stairs together as a result. <laughs> I'm okay, I... Taking advantage of the close distance between you and Luke, you get a clear look at the picture. It's a picture of your and Luke's classroom in high school. You are lying on the desk and appear to be sleeping. Luke seems to have quietly snuck over into the frame. With his warm smile and concealed yet implicit intentions, the young boy in the photo left a mark on both time and space without your knowledge. If you hadn't discovered this picture, it never would have existed. Why did you take that picture? <sighs> Your hand reaching for the photo still hangs suspended in the air, while Luke's heartbeat is clear and strong under your other palm. Only now do you realize how suggestive and terrible the position you and Luke are in is. Even so, you still want to know the answer. From the sudden change of his photography style to him going to such lengths to hide this picture from you, but with his previous hints, you get even closer, hoping to grab the picture, but Luke straightens up slightly to block your line of sight. He looks at you, his kiss scorching, not hiding his affection in the least. Luke 
カメラが人より正直かつ客観的でお前への視線を隠したまま俺の気持ちを表現できると知ったからだだからもしあの写真に妙な差を感じたんだとしたら多分片方にお前に対する愛情がにじみ出てたんだろうな。もう知ってるだろう。あの頃の俺は何度も告白の機会を逃してたって。んで、出発の直前に自分の運命を受け入れた俺は、この写真を撮って首都に持っていこうとしたんだ。You know just how many missed opportunities there were between you and Luke. But when he says this, your heart can't help but quiver. Then again, why didn't you take this picture with you? <sighs> Sunlight shines through Luke's hair, finally illuminating his eyes after what feels like an eternity. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure that I'm so sorry. どうしてあの時は気づいてくれなかったんだ Maybe it's because we're closer now. As you say this, you move closer to look once again in an effort to take the picture. Look recognize your intentions. He puts down the picture, places his hand in yours, and then holds it gently. In the next instant, you are turned sideways. Your back is pressed up against the railing, and Luke's head rests between your spine and the guardrails. You want to push Luke away, but he uses one hand to stop you, trapping both of your arms behind your back with ease. In a sense, he is using his own hands as a rope to tie your hands to the railing. Nara, これでもっと近くなったか So close to one another, his breath caresses your cheek like a kiss, and the sensation vanishes in an instant. If he is about to say something, the doorbell rings a millisecond faster. The scented candle you bought to make the house smell nice is here. I'll get the door. As you feel Luke realize his hold on you, you immediately leap up and flee from the scene without so much as a second glance. Bears. The setting sun follows the path of the flying birds, weaving through dusky clouds that stretch over the horizon. The twilight is hazy in the aftermath of the sunset. The photo wall is finally complete. You bring over the cold drinks and fruit you prep. Great work! Come cool down for a bit. The air conditioner near the stairs doesn't work very well, causing Lou to sweat quick. Quite a bit after working hard there all afternoon. He unbuttons his shirt and takes off the key that hangs around his neck. He then takes the towel in your hand and lifts up his t shirt. What are you doing? That towel is ice cold. You can't just wipe it on your stomach. Let me help you. Before he can react, you hand l o o k the plate full of fruit, grab the towel, and help him wipe away his perspiration. Maybe because the towel is so much colder than his body temperature, l o o k shudders the moment it comes into contact with his back. <laughs> is it too cold? <laughs> The way his body is reacting and what he's saying are worlds apart. You are unsure if it's due to nerves or something else, but his muscles gradually begin to tighten, forming beautiful lines on his body. Water droplets slide down from where you wipe the towel, creating wet trails that eventually disappear into the curve of his waist. Why do I feel like you are still sweating? Do you still feel hot? You finish wiping his back. As soon as you move the towel to his chest, he covers it with his hand. <sighs> as a matter of fact, Luke is very hot. 
even the palm of his hand is concerningly searing, as if he is hiding another heart within. Towel も濡れくなってきたし、あとは自分でやるよ。It's much easier for me to do it for you. Don't move. He leans up against the photo wall, raising his head slightly. His Adam's apple moves up and down, but he doesn't say a word. Hey, why didn't you hang that picture you took up on the wall? You glance over at the photo wall and realize that Luke didn't hang up the picture you two were scrambling for before. That was a picture I took up on the wall. I thought I was going to be with others. That's true, but I still really like that picture. Wiping the front is always more difficult than wiping the back. Not to mention, Luke has seemed somewhat stiff this entire time. Seeing him like this, you can't resist the urge to tease him. Oh, you didn't answer my question yet. Why didn't you take that picture with you to the capital? This time, you walk toward him exceptionally steady, steadily and bothered by any unexpected occurrences that might interrupt your conversation. Really? Luke avoids your gaze, making it clear as day that he is not telling the truth. Even so, you have no idea why he'd want to hide the real reason, so you have no choice but to covertly increase your force as you want. <laughs> as you follow the contours of his muscles, you are about to move down further when Luke stops your hand through the fabric of his t-shirt. Huh? He rushes straight to the bathroom, and in the end, you still don't get an answer. Even so, you catch a glimpse of his ears looking particularly bright in the sunlight. It makes look like a, sh like a shy puppy. Even though he's hiding a wagging tail, his alert ears betray his true feelings. Bedroom. After tidying up everything on the stairs, you and Luke head back to the bedroom after washing up. Ah, oh, that's right. I was sorting through these boxes before. I totally forgot about it because of the photo wall. Looking over the boxes in the bedroom, you remember your original goal today was to put away the stuff you brought from your parents' house. Everything else that happened afterward was completely unexpected. まだ寝るには早いし、今からやれば無理せずに終わるんじゃないか Then, let's start with all your old stuff we brought back. The organizing is going smoothly until you chance upon the toy handcuffs you brought here yesterday. You can't help feeling somewhat puzzled. Hmm, would it be weird to put this on display? What would be a good place for it? You look around for a good place, you find a document bag and looks all stuff he moved over. Inside, you find a form listing liberal arts and science classes at Sally's High School with Luke Pierce written in the same name in the name column. He really did move everything here, but why did he bring this form? To gather data and better understand students' intentions after they enroll, Sally's High School would send out an interest form to to their students. What's strange is that Luke only wrote his name on the form. He didn't check any classes. The form itself is completely useless, but he still put it in a document bag. He didn't even turn it in, and he kept it safe all this time. Why? Just as you're about to ask, you hear the sudden buzzing of electricity and all of the lights in the room go out. Luke? Faced with a sudden change of being plunged into darkness, you call out Luke's name without thinking. Here. 
Luke notices that you're somewhat panicked and comes over right away. He seems to have kicked something on his way over, but he pays it no mind. Because the power went out, the air conditioner also stopped blowing. The room slowly grows stuffy. You turn on a flashlight to illuminate Luke's path forward as you search for news on the power outage. Looks like the thunderstorm yesterday made some power lines short circuits. Even though the local government turned on the backup power supply, it can't accommodate for peak electricity usage at night. どうりで外も真っ暗なわけだ。ま、幸いにもうちにはアロマキャンドルがあるからな。you are unsure how long the power outage will last. Rather than relying on the flashlight on your phone, the candle is clearly more dependable. Luke lights the candle and the flames waver slightly in the night breeze. It is a very bright but it allows you to barely make out his face. The warm yellow light blurs the outline of his face reminding you of being in the tent with him last night. This definitely isn't the first time you've seen this image. An impulse you find impossible to describe rises up in your heart. At this moment, you want nothing more than to locate the source of all of this. Look, have we had a power outage before? Yeah, <sighs> The candle wax gradually melts, filling the room with the scent of youthful memories. It smells of flowers and fruits, and the details slowly come into focus. Luke's bedroom. Luke! On the night the power went out, your parents were working overtime. You and Luke were the only ones home. You couldn't help feeling uneasy sitting in your dark room alone, so you went to Luke's room looking for him. Hmm? He has a battery-powered lamp on his desk that is currently shining brightly. There's nothing to do while the power is out. I'm kinda bored. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's pitch black and you want to rely on a little light bulb. No one would blame you for being so surprised. As you get closer, you realize Luke is tinkering with circuits on his desk. He has a voltage meter, a current meter, and a small light bulb. It seems like he's quite prepared. Yeah. Why am I not surprised? The way Luke speaks so naturally makes it seem like this is nothing to get surprised over, so you shift your gaze somewhere else. That liberal arts and science class form, why didn't you turn it in yet? I remember the deadline was yesterday. The form is empty other than the name. Clearly, its owner wasn't concerned with the deadline. Luke smirks and continues assembling the circuit. I didn't think the top student in our grade would struggle so much with multiple choice questions. So He stops what he's doing for a moment and turns to look at you, his eyes completely earnest. This, this. Looks like you just want the answers, Luke. To fully embrace your role as Luke's teacher, you turn his chair to face you. I chose liberal arts. After all, I want to study. Luke instinctively finishes your sentence since you've told him your goal so many times before. Huh. <sighs> 
。自分のやりたいこととか夢がはっきりしてるやつは、いっそ俺も文系にするか。そしたらずっと同じクラスになるだろうし。As long as you've thought about it, you can do whatever you want. いい加減な先生だな。Whatever, it's because I have faith in you, okay? Whether it's your life up until now or your future that is about to start, I have faith you'll get through it with no problem. You intentionally bend down to intensify your turn. It isn't up to you look into it looks eyes that you realize you're a little too close. <clears throat> anyway, you move to pull back, but look holds on to your arm. He doesn't say anything, but his action communicates a signal. He doesn't want any distance between you two. For some reason, you stop in your tracks. However, he still doesn't move his hand. Anyway, you have to look in your heart to see what you really want. I think you know it when you see it. Look looks at you, he's about to say something when the battery powered lamp on his desk goes out without warning. The room is suddenly plunged into darkness. Thankfully, enough moonlight is shining through the window so you're not completely deprived of your sight. Even so, you are still somewhat flustered. You take a step back and hold on to the edge of the desk to steady yourself, but you accidentally press something on the table. Considering your dark surroundings, your movement was quite large. After Luke reminds you to be careful, he reaches out to lead you back to him. All of this happens practically instantly, and you finally realize what you just pressed. It was the switch on the circuit Luke was trying to put together. The small bulb emits a luminous light, so close to one another, it's enough for you and Luke to clearly see everything in each other's eyes. That surprise as your heart fluttered was something you didn't understand. Or perhaps misunderstood at the time. Bedroom. The aroma grows more intense as the melted candle wax accumulates in the mouth of the glass jar. The tension of the liquid makes it look like it's contained in a net wobbling within its confines. It's even more like your heart. Which is suddenly heavy with new insight from past memories, pulling all secrets down to the bottom amidst the wavering light. お前の言う通りだったな。本当に望むものと向き合えば、それが何かはおのずとわかるって。世界が闇に包まれ、再び光と出会うとき、俺の目にはお前しか映らない。まるで何かの予兆のように。Luke's hand holding the handle shifts slightly, and the transparent liquid wax overflows, slowly dropping down the wall of the glass jar. やっとわかったんだ。心の一部が欠けたようなあの空虚感は。いつだってお前のせいだったんだってだから俺はただの家族で終わるのも家族のままどこかへ行くのも嫌になった世界が静寂に包まれていようがどれだけ騒がしかろうがお前には俺だけを見ていてほしいんだ The flickering candlelight reflects in his eyes, needlessly adding a luminosity that captivates your very soul. Yulk! He confesses the passionate feelings of his younger self, yet you can only respond by whispering his name. You will spend the rest of your life looking back on that night to the young man who occupied your entire field of vision. But, I お前の気持ちがわからなくて、関係を変えてしまう勇気がわかなかった。今にして思うと
あの時の気分は今見てる景色に近かったかもな美しい光に手を伸ばしたくても自分や相手をやけどさせてしまうんじゃないかって As Luke says this, you suddenly recall how you couldn't find a single picture of you two in high school together. That's why you didn't take any pictures with me later on. We don't have any real pictures together from when we were in high school. <laughs> 恥ずかしくて一緒に撮ろうって言えなくてお前が寝てる時にこっそり撮るしかなかったんだ。The melted candle wax strips lower and lower until it collides at the bottom of the jar, like rainwater on the eaves of a building after a storm, waiting to trickle further downward. Look, you're such a dummy. Your bluntness leaves Luke astonished for a moment, and in the next second, your arm wraps around his neck. The candle you pour is made of all natural wax, meaning it has a low melting point. As long as we're careful, it's not going to burn anyone. The melted wax suspended at the bottom of the jar finally drips down due to your exaggerated movements. It splashes on Luke's forearm with a faint fragrance and leaves a trail similar to a raindrop or perhaps some other kind of imprint. Burn? <sighs> yeah. The transparent splash of wax adorns Luke's arm, his thin red skin acting as a backdrop. It looks like a seal in some type of strange contract. <laughs> It was like a riddle with a double meaning. You know, Luke isn't only talking about this one thing. The real story is hidden behind a curtain, concealed by smoke and mirrors. A veritable jigsaw puzzle missing its most important piece. Bedroom. Like some sort of theatrical effect, you hear a beeping sound as soon as Luke finishes speaking. The air conditioner automatically turned back on. The power is back. Thankfully, the lights in the room are dim, so it isn't too jarring for you. A gust of wind blows in, and a rustling sound immediately attracts your attention. It's that picture. Most of the details are fuzzy in the dark, but you are certain you spot the picture from the daytime lying silently next to the toy handcuffs. Another gust of wind flips the picture over, revealing writing on the back. Bedroom The handwriting on the back of the picture triggers your curiosity, but history repeats itself as Luke quickly grabs the picture. As you gaze at the toy handcuffs next to you and recall the scene on the stairs earlier today, an idea suddenly pops into your head. Look, what's on the back of that picture? Why can't you show it to me? Before everything occurs, you decide to at least try to negotiate sensibly. You say that every time, so why can't you show me if it isn't important? Look, always we have strangely when it comes to that picture, and you can't help but begin to worry. You suddenly realize he might have been trying to hide what's written on the back of the picture all along. From the struggle on the stairs to look hiding it when you ask where the picture was, paired with everything just now, you can't shake the feeling that the final key piece has something to do with it. Does that reason have anything to do with me? It seems as if you stump him with your question and his brow furrows slightly. You use this chance to snatch the toy handcuffs off the floor and, following Luke's example, cuff his hands to the railing. The dim light blankets everything in a room with a vague yellow hue, the hazy glow filling the air like mist. 
the crisp sound of collision mixed with the rustling of fabric. On this quiet night, your thoughts are shaken up along with the noise. <laughs> you only touch him gently with your fingers, yet you feel you shudder slightly. <sighs> He struggles somewhat with the restraint on his hand. His low voice echoes like a thread that is being pulled tighter and tighter. One end is connected to look powerless as he is in this moment, while the other end is connected to the childish thoughts in the depths of his heart. Little by little, the thread is strained tighter, bringing about a sense of impatience. Joking, you inspired me to do this earlier today. The toy handcuffs won't be able to hold Luke for so long, so every second is precious. As your fingers run over him, there is a distinct lack of warmth, but you are able to capture the contrasting tension and softness of his skin in painstaking detail. You smile as you lean in closer to him. The key he considers his treasure is nestled between the contours of his muscles, waggling slightly as his chest violently rises and falls. Why don't you guys? What do I look like I'm going to do next? Your hand hovers in the air before you touch him. He stares at you intently, his eyes so dark that you find it impossible to gush how he might react. Without another word, you press with some force behind your fingertips. <laughs> when you, your finger meets his skin, his muscle tense in response. <laughs> Sporadic words are mixed into his breathing, tightening the thread to its absolute limit. You pull on the key, forcing him to raise his head slightly and look up at you. I want to see that picture, okay? If you refuse, then I have no choice. You try to keep your voice as low as possible, but you seem to forget that anything you say in this type of situation will inherently be teached with ambiguity. I have no choice but to resort to other methods to make you hand it over. He moves his arm with some force, pulling on the link between the cuffs and knocking against the railing again. Even though he is beginning to blush, he still maintains an adorable sense of naivety in the face of your stubbornness. Seeing him like this, your heart inevitably begins to beat faster. It even feels like the room temperature has risen a few degrees. That's not something you should say when you're trapped. Have you thought it over? Even though Luke is the one who is trapped, the air surrounding him makes him look like a hunter ready to strike. You can't help hesitating. His arm suddenly tenses. With his handcuffs still caught on the railing, the things placed on the shelf slide to the feet. A box of things on the shelf falls to the floor. However, before you can react, Luke grabs your errant hand. It seemed as if it was extremely easy for him to break away. Only the faint sound of him panting reminds you of his previous predicament. Of course not. You reply in a quiet grumble. You knew you couldn't cough him for long, but you didn't think he'd escape so quickly. Luke has seemingly calmed down, but the desire in his case has only increased, making it clear that the turbulent emotion in his heart still haven't dissipated. So come on, 
Yes. In truth, you were willing to let the situation with the picture off, but you find it impossible to come down after seeing Luke's reaction. But if you really don't want me to know, I can wait. I'll wait until you are ready to tell me. He smiles with resignation as his fingertips gently glide over your wrist, bringing a comforting sensation. I do. You thought he was going to hand the photo to you, but he unexpectedly brings up another matter altogether. You are somewhat puzzled, but you're not. You'd ask Luke why he became an agent not long after you two reunited. You said it was because of your hero complex and that time we got lost when we were little. Luke looks at the toy handcuffs nearby before shifting his keys back to you, his voice growing soft. そこの番号をもらったことがきっかけなんだ。写真を隠した理由がお前と関係してるって話も答えはすぐ近くにあったんだよ。けどそれ以上に大事なことがあるって気づいてすぐには言えなかった。今までの人生もこれからの人生も
don't live for that long again. Don't give me a chance to forget you. And don't create any more memories with me that I don't know about. So, Surya. Shashin wo kazaru space mo mada mada no kotteru shina. Takara. Ima kono shun kan kara. Atarashi omoide o tsukutte mo ika. Luke doesn't wait for your answer. He lets go of the picture, wrap his arm around your shoulder, and kisses you. The picture gently floats on the night breeze, spinning a few times in the air before landing softly on the floor. The light illuminating the young boy's face shines from the sunset years ago, the stars tonight, and the daybreak on the path ahead.新居に引っ越したことは俺たちの人生にとって大きな一歩になったと思うこいつらがそうしてるようにどんなことがあっても俺はお前のそばに、お前のいる家に戻ってくるからなひまわりの花言葉は忠誠、好奇、それから愛望